Summary of a Man for All Seasons by Robert Bolt The play starts sometime in the late 1520s with a talk between Thomas More and his friend Richard Rich. More doesn't like taking gifts or being in the spotlight, but Rich can't wait to move up the social ladder from being a poor student. Rich's friend, the Duke of Norfolk, takes him under his wing and hires him as an assistant because of More's aid. More goes to see the Lord Chancellor of England, who is Cardinal Wolsey. Wolsey wants More to help him write a letter to the Pope asking him to cancel King Henry VIII's marriage to Catherine of Aragon. More says no, so Wolsey tells him that as a statesman, More's moral concerns and private feelings shouldn't be more important than the country's future. Even though More's complaint is moral, people are already starting to think it is political. For example, Shopwees thinks that More's silence means he has sided with Catherine and, by extension, Spain because he is keeping quiet. Back at home, More talks to Will Roper, the man who wants to marry his daughter Margaret. More likes Roper, but he thinks his morals change too often. He even calls him a heretic. He finally warms up to Will, and Will's ideas become less extreme. This makes it possible for Will and Margaret to get married. After a while, Wolsey dies in 1530, and Moore is named Lord Chancellor. Thomas Cromwell is a lawyer and a close friend of the king. He is starting to think that Moore is up to no good. Moore is even more well-known now than he was before, but he still won't say anything about the king's split. Cromwell pays Moore's steward and Richard Rich Cash to try to find information that can be used against Moore. The king goes to Moore's house and tries to get him to agree that the divorce is real. Henry is upset because he thinks that his life and moral standing are in danger if Moore doesn't agree with him. Moore stays the same, and the king leaves quickly and with anger. Henry tells Cromwell how upset he is, and he and Rich make plans to find a way to punish Moore or get him to change his mind. Parliament passes the Act of Supremacy, which gives Henry the right to leave the Catholic Church and lead a separate Church of England, but Moore won't sign it. People think that because he doesn't say anything, he doesn't back the king. This is not true. Moore's family and friends try to change his mind, but he won't listen to them. As the heat gets worse, he sticks to his beliefs more and more. He quits his job as Chancellor, but Cromwell and the king still try to get rid of him. Moore ends up in jail, even though he hasn't been accused of anything. Cromwell and Rich go to see him and try to get him to swear that he knows about and agrees with the act of supremacy. His family also comes to see him and asks him to stop. Moore doesn't, so he is taken to court. During the trial, Rich lies under oath and says that Moore rejected the king's position as supreme head of the Church of England. This was not true. Moore never said the title wasn't true, he just didn't agree with it. Unfortunately, the jury decides right away that Moore is guilty of treason, and he is put to death in 1535. About the author Robert Bolt was born in the north of England to a middle-class family. As a young man, he served in the Royal Air Force during World War II. When he got back home, he went to school to become a teacher and started writing. Bolt wrote a number of radio plays for the BBC in the 1950s. Some of these plays were later turned into stage plays. The Critic and the Heart, a play he wrote in 1956, was his first big hit. Two more of his plays, A Man for All Seasons and The Tiger and the Horse, also did well in 1960. Bolt was a member of the Communist Party in the 1950s and 1960s, which got him sent to jail for a short time. But this didn't seem to hurt his work much, and he kept writing plays and highly acclaimed screenplays like Lawrence of Arabia and Dr. Zhivago well into the 1970s. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.